Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and Apple has just released iOS 17.4 RC. The RC version is the final build that gets released to the devs before iOS 17.4 will be released to the public. Now that doesn't mean that we will not have another RC version being released later this week. That might happen as it has happened a lot of times, but this is basically the final version, the final features and changes that we're getting with iOS 17.4, which will be released very, very soon to the public, but we're gonna talk about the release date in a couple of minutes here. First of all, let's take a look at this RC update. Now this update, of course, will be big as it will reinstall completely iOS on your device. So if you're installing iOS 17.4 RC on your device, you will get it at around six and a half gigs. So that's always, of course, different on different devices and it will be different based on which software you have currently installed on your iPhone. And this right here is the new build number for iOS 17.4 the RC version, which will most likely be the same build number for the public release, of course, if Apple doesn't release another RC version for iOS 17.4. So the build number is 21E217. This is the new build number of iOS 17.4. And here we have also the release notes for iOS 17.4. Apple have just released the release notes here, and they're talking about the new features and changes we're getting with iOS 17.4. Of course, the all new emojis, the podcast new features, the transcription for podcasts, a pretty cool new feature for the podcast app. And then we have a lot of new other features right here. Like, of course, Siri can now announce messages on other languages, you will have that feature on iOS 17.4, where you will have now a ton of different languages which you can use to actually have Siri announce your messages on that language. Music recognition lets you now add songs that you have identified to your Apple Music playlists library and also Apple Music Classical, which is pretty cool. And then we have the new battery settings, of course, for the iPhone 15s. Now, Apple is, looks like won't be putting these new features for the battery on all their devices. That would be pretty cool, but hopefully in the future. Then they're talking also about the Apple Cash virtual card, and we have the new features for the dashboard with CarPlay and Maps from Apple, of course, on certain vehicles, which is really, really cool. So basically, we have here a just like a roundup of all the new features coming to iOS 17.4. But there are, of course, a lot more. And here we have some new features that we didn't talk about in the previous video. Some of them actually pretty cool. Now, this is one of them right here. You know that on iOS, when you go to set a new wallpaper, the home wallpaper will be blurred by default, but not on iOS 17.4. But it has actually a catch here. So if you set the wallpaper from the Photos app, it won't add the blur to the home screen automatically, as you can see it right here. But if you do that from the lock screen, it actually does so. It's pretty confusing here what Apple is doing, but I like this a lot. Adding that blur by default was really annoying. I always had to disable the blur manually, so now you can actually just set the wallpaper from the Photos app and you won't get the blur on the home screen. Now, very welcome change on iOS 17.4, the last beta before the RC Apple has made this change and they have basically reverted the player, the default video player on Safari to the old one, which used to be on iOS before iOS 17.4. Now, if you have installed iOS 17.4 beta one, you notice that the default player had some changes which most people didn't like, Finally, Apple have decided to actually revert it to the old one. There's also a new splash screen for the music app. Once you open the music app for the first time on iOS 17.4, this is what you will see the new features. Listen now is home. Apple has changed this all across on the podcast, the books app everywhere. Now you will have a button saying home instead of other things like listen now. And you'll also have the monthly replay feature, which Apple talks about in this splash screen for the music app. Moving on into the settings app and under iMessage, you will now find the messages for business and you can see right here we have a new section which basically is empty and you will have the privacy here, privacy policy for messages for business and we have to wait for Apple to actually update this but we now have a new section here under the messages app. And if you move under privacy and security, you will find passkey access for web browsers, applications that have requested the ability to see which websites and apps 
have you have saved pass keys for you will see all those right here probably will be able to enable and disable those with a button and now let's move on and talk about performance and battery life on iOS 17.4. Of course, two very, very important components. Now, this is a great score that I got with the last beta of iOS 17.4. The single core score right there at 2,960, while the multi-core score at 7,504, which again is a great performance from this software update. And now let's move on and talk about the battery life. Here we have the last 10 days. You can see the last day right here, we have about 75% battery, eight hours, 28 minutes. Right here, we have around 60%, maybe 65% battery, seven hours, 25 minutes. While here we have around 110% battery, 12 hours, seven minutes, which is really great. And then here we have 100% battery, maybe 105, and we have 11 hours and nine minutes of battery life, which is great. In my opinion, iOS 17.4 has a great performance on battery, especially with the last betas, but of course, we have to wait and see how the RC will perform as well. And for the final part, let's talk about the release date. Well, I will expect Apple to actually release this update early next week. Most likely the release date for iOS 17.4 will be March 4th, maybe March 5th, but I believe it will be released on a Monday and it should be March 4th, the day we get iOS 17.4 released to the public. It might happen that Apple will actually release another RC version, maybe on Thursday right there, but we'll have to wait and see for that. But Monday or Tuesday should be the dates that Apple releases iOS 17.4 to the public. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.